Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and this is a tutorial on painting miniatures. I'm finishing up my 300 diorama, so now I'm starting to paint the miniatures, and I thought it'd be nice to make a um, tutorial on how to paint miniatures. I got some nice tips and um, hints for you if you want to paint miniatures. Uh, I have my layout here. I have my um, workspace all set up, ready to do some painting, and I wanted to note that a couple of things when you're doing something like this. Make sure you have plenty of room. Um, lay down some paper or some board or something to keep things clean. Um, gather all your materials and also get yourself some extra lighting. You know, make it nice and bright so you can see all the little tiny details in your miniatures. Um, so let me go over the, I got my paints, I got my tools. Let me go over some of the tools. I have a, a vise, which is nice. If I put the miniature in there, I can clip it on the table or I can hold it in my hand. That's the best thing you can get. If you, if you can get a little vise like that, get one. Um, I also have a pin vise here and these are kind of handy. You can, you know, grab the miniature and hold it like that and work on it, which is nice. They make them in a lot of different sizes, even little tiny ones called pin vices. So if you can get a hold of one of those, that'd be great. If you can't get a pin vise or some kind of a vise and you want to hold your miniature, you might want to give this a try. I've wrapped masking tape backwards on a stick, and now I can attach that miniature right to that, and it's pretty strong. So I can work on that, I can hold it, and I can work on it, move it around as I want. Um, use double-sided tape or masking tape backwards. It's pretty nice. Also, this stick, I, I, I like to use this stick when I'm painting because what happens is if I'm working on a miniature and I'm doing the real detail work, I can hold it like this and I can brace my hand on that. It's kind of nice. It keeps, keeps your hand nice and steady while you're working. So there might be something to think about is to get yourself a stick like this you can use. It's a common technique of a painters and uh, sculptors. So here's a couple more tools. Um, some side cutters, a magnifying glass, I can take a good look, some pliers, an X-Acto knife, tweezers, um, a micro file, some micro files, emery boards, you know, of course my paint brushes and my paints over here. I've got a sealer and I've got some high tack contact cement for assembling the different pieces. So if, you, if you're going to paint miniatures, think about um, what kind of tools you can put together and um, keep them in a nice little box for yourself. Um, let me talk a little bit about paints. I use a lot of different types of paints, wall water based. I don't have much of a preference for different companies, but I did want to say that paints are going to last a long time. If you're painting miniatures, chances are you're never going to get through a whole jug of any color, no matter how many miniatures you paint. It just lasts a long time. So take care of them. Um, wipe them off before you put them away. Seal them up nice. Put them away. And for years, you'll be able to go back to them. If you want a really tight budget, you can use almost any kind of paint you get in a hobby store uh, that's water-based. But I would suggest that you spring for a few dollars and get a few basic colors that are um, miniature-oriented, like flesh, flesh colored, leather colored, and some of the metallic which are like silver metallic, gold metallic, and bronze metallic. So a few of those unusual colors that aren't so readily available. So think about that. And remember, once you buy it, it's going to be good for years. So take care of it and um, keep them clean and um, you'll never run out. Okay, step one. step one. Inspect, clean, and trim your miniatures. Take a look at them real good, look for any burrs, any little things, sandpaper them, um, trim them, you know, look for any problems, anything like that. Step two, prime them with a white or gray primer. I use a white for uh, good characters and I use a gray primer for bad characters. This primer works really well and helps a lot with your uh, miniatures in that it will protect it. And having that colored white or gray base down will actually make it a lot easier to to paint because you'll be able to see all the little details better. Just make sure when you're putting in the primer that you make it a very thin and very even coat because you don't want the primer to uh, clog up any of the gaps. Step three. Step three. Paint the whole miniature. Uh, go over it Cover all of the areas of the miniature with your various colors and don't be afraid to use uh, your mixed colors. Mix yourself up some colors and don't just use all the primary colors. 
but cover the whole thing and get a good look to it. Step four, washing with black or black ink. What you do is you take some black ink or some black paint and you get it really, really wet, add a lot of water to it, and then you just wash right over the miniature. You can see on the back on the Spartan Warriors cape here how the black is run into the lines. This is going to give you a really good look. It also goes well over chain mail, over armor, over the musculature. The black settles into the lines and looks fantastic. So that's called washing and you need to practice that. It's one of the best techniques you can use when making a miniature. It'll really, really add some definition to it. So you can see it looks really good on the back of the cape here. It brings it to life. So that's washing. Step five, highlighting, highlighting and detailing. Now you're going to go over your, your figure and cover a lot of the same areas with the same color point paint that is either lightened or darkened. Like for instance, the high point of a muscle will be a little bit lighter because there's light on it. So you take the same kind of paint, say flesh colored, add a little bit of white to it and then just very lightly touch up the high points of that uh, piece of the miniature. And you do the same thing with all the different things. So think of it as highlighting and darkening. You do the same thing with darkening. Take the same color, add a little bit of black or brown to it, and then add that, paint that into the lower points of uh, that particular body feature. So that's um, you, this is the finish up painting. So you do that. You uh, you do highlighting. You add some various colors. You make different shades of the same color, and you're finishing up. And then check all your detail work add any little details that need to be done and you're pretty much done with this you're almost done step six seal it with a matte or glossy spray seal I like to use a matte seal most of the time because it's not too shiny it tends to look a little bit more realistic I will use a glossy a sealer for different types of creatures like um, dragons and lizards where they have a shiny kind of skin that glossy will add a little bit more shininess to them. So just seal it really well and the sealing will ensure that it lasts a very long time, be easy to clean and um, it'll maintain it, the brightness of colors. Okay, step seven, the, sem the final step. Uh, assemble it together with a high contact glue. I like to use Hobby Tack where you put it on both pieces, let it sit for 15 minutes so it gets a really high tack to it and then I put them together and they hold, you don't have to worry about holding it for a long period of time they stick almost instantaneously. You can use any kind of a, uh, uh, adhesive that you're, you like and don't forget to do your base if you're going to use a base. A lot of my dioramas I don't actually use a base, I actually secure the figure right down to the diorama but in this case you can see I've applied glue and texture to the base of the Spartan Warrior the texture will help it to blend in with the diorama that he's going to go on. Okay, so a final review of the seven steps. Inspect it first. Trim it. Use sandpaper, X-Acto knife, anything to trim the pieces. Prime it with white or gray. Do all your basic colors. Cover the whole model. Then wash it. Do your highlighting and darkening. Seal it. And assemble it. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. Plenty more fun stuff on my website at stormthecastle.com. Thanks.